clutch truckers film before a live and fuzzy studio audience that is Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. Uh, okay, delivered my load in Egan, Minnesota this morning. It is Friday the 13th. Ooh, Friday the 13th ah! of August. Anyway, uh, wasn't that, there was like a bad movie that came out in the 80s. Remember that Friday the 13th? And then they made a sequel Saturday the 14th. It's like really, really. Anyway. Um, now I'm at the TA in Rogers, Minnesota. This is a, one of the worst TAs around. Never park here unless you absolutely have to. Most of the lots reserved. Half the parking's blindside back. It's ridiculous. The only reason I'm here is because I'm picking up the microphone, the wireless microphone I ordered off Amazon because they had Amazon lockers here. And I knew I could be coming through. I initially thought I'd be coming through on my way down, and now I'm picking up a load uh, this afternoon. Uh, back at Cold Spring Brewery in Cold Spring, Minnesota. So um, decided to come through on my way back up and I'm gonna go uh, into the Amazon lockers and pick that up. Then we'll do an unboxing. Uh, we'll do the whole uh, giving it a shot and see if that helps uh, the whole mic quality thing. Since people have been saying for a long time, your audio isn't that good. You need to do something about it. So I'm doing something about it. All right, thank you. All right, I spy the Amazon lockers right up here. Dun, 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 dun. This one is called Top Sale. All right, now I gotta scan my barcode and see one pop open. I always love these; they seem so magic. You scan your barcode right off your phone, and then ba boom, ba boom, locker pops open. So there's, there's my prize. So I got my thing out of the Amazon locker. Thought we'd do a real quick uh, unboxing here. Just, you know, a cheap, from iDisk, I-D-I-S-K-K, iDisk, iDisk. It's a little wireless microphone, tiny little box. So, uh, you know, it wasn't a major brand or anything. I, I think I paid 48 bucks for it. Wireless lavalier microphone connects with your lightning connector right there. All right, so it looks like uh, it slides out maybe. Oh, and it even it even has a little pouch it comes in. Isn't that lovely? Uh, and then of course we have our little. Uh, Instruction manual. What's this one? On top it says warm reminder. Why warm reminder? <laughs> I don't think they, they know what warm means. Warm reminder. Alright, then here's the instructions. Uh, looks like hopefully there's some English on there. Yep. You know, it's probably not very good English and something else dropped down here what is this this is the oh quality certificate lots of Chinese stuff on there but apparently it passed uh, according to number 12 all right so now yeah a little circular zippered pouch isn't it cute Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Okay, so we have the actual microphone right there that you clip on. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is the uh, end you plug into your phone right there with the lightning connector. Oh, and then it even gives you a little cable and some other styrofoam pieces. Uh, a little cable, an adapter. Oh, and I guess the other thing that fell out was another. Oh, you know, they gave you a couple of. Oh no, here's a clip, and this one, oh, this is the foam, another extra foam piece. So there you go. So we'll pull this out, if I can get it out. Come on, you mother scratcher. All right, so there it is. It's pretty tiny. A little uh, lavalier mic, so I can just, so in theory, I can just clip this on, like right there, okay? And then you plug this other end here. If I can get it out of its little magic pouch. 
I was just end up kind of tearing these things apart to get them out. Okay, so this is what plugs into the bottom of my phone. So we'll plug it in. We'll give it a shot as I'm driving on my way up to pick up my next load up in clear, uh, clear, uh, spring, clear, spring, uh, clear. I was there just last week. You think I could remember? Cold Spring, Minnesota. All right, so we'll try it out. Okay, showed it to you. Showed you the unboxing and. Um, like I said, my, my main point in buying this thing was because when I was doing the driving portions where I put myself in the little window up there along with the dash cam footage of the road, people were saying, well, the audio quality is real bad. Well, because it's picking up a lot of background noise because I'm just using the microphone off the camera, off the phone. So I thought, well, if I get a little lavalier mic and all that, it'll make everything better. No, it doesn't at all. Actually, it's much, much, much worse. I've got some examples I can show you here Okay, so now here we are doing the test as we're out there driving. We're at highway speed. We're on my way up to Cold Spring, uh, Minnesota. I am going to stop up here at the Quick Trip in Clearwater, Minnesota. Yeah, and then I was getting loaded at Cold Spring uh, Brewery in Cold Spring, uh, Minnesota again on Friday. I kept trying different. I put on double foam uh, windscreens. I put it up here on the visor. I put it here. I put it up on my glasses. I tried it everywhere. Well, when I'm parked, it, it was doing pretty good in all those situations. Later that night, I tried it again, uh, going down the road with a double windscreen on there, and it wasn't much better. Okay, tried the audio test with the microphone on my shirt uh, while driving at highway speed, and it picked up so much background noise, it was even worse than just doing it off the camera up on the dash in front of me. So we're trying again using the... Uh, New microphone. I've got it up on my uh, visor up here, kind of aimed right towards me. So we'll see how it is as far as picking up the background noise and see if this is any better. And as you can see, it was not. I even tried clipping it onto my uh, my boom on my headset and to see if that would help out at all. So now I've got it clipped to my boom on my headset. And I've got it aiming right at me, again doing the highway speed test as we're going down the road here on uh, I-94 in Wisconsin. And once again, a negatory, a negatory big buddy. Okay, so I determined I've got I've to try something different. And obviously any kind of a lavalier microphone or anything like that, well it's not going to have noise canceling in it like our headset mics have for our Bluetooth thing. And I, I've always figured, well why can't I just use the Bluetooth mic? when I'm recording my videos going down the road. So I just put my phone up here on the dash and then I let the dash cam do the, the forward and I let this one do looking at me, but I can never use this mic when I'm recording the video using the, just the camera recording video recorder that's on iPhones. It won't let you switch the mic. It only goes to this if I'm like doing a live YouTube thing or if I'm doing like a, a WhatsApp when I'm talking to Chris Kelly in England. I need to use this. So I figured, as they always say in all those old infomercials, there's got to be a better way. And there is Kevin. Kevin? Huh? Okay, so what I did is I went on, um, I just did a Google search and I said, how do I use an external microphone when using the video recorder on iPhones? And uh, then a video popped up, uh, a, a guy showing how he's using this app called Movie Pro where you can actually go in and select external microphone, Bluetooth, uh, to record your audio for the videos. And it was $9.99, $10. Uh, I already spent $48 on that microphone. Yes, I'll be able to use it for other stuff and we'll talk about that in a minute. But my main point in getting it, uh, it wasn't helping. As a matter of fact, it was worse. So I'm like, all right. So while I was stopped at night in Wisconsin, after I showed you that last one where I tried it at night and it wasn't working, uh, I figured, okay, I'll download this app real quick and I'll look through the settings, see if I can get that to work, and we'll try it. So I tried it again going down the road with my headset on. And here's the difference. I couldn't get the microphone to work on just the camera. And my external mic was uh, the whole point of buying it to have better audio while doing my videos going down the road was not working well. So uh, here I am driving on I 94 in uh, Wisconsin. Uh, driving at night, so I have just my little mood lighting, my green light on, so it doesn't distract from the road. You can still see out the windshield and everything. And uh, doing also the on-road video at the same time, because that was the whole point. 
of getting that wireless mic that I bought off Amazon for $48, and it just picked up even more background noise, so it wasn't working for my purpose. So here we are trying this. I've got the mic in regular position. Now move it closer to my mouth. See if that helps at all. So we're trying that. I'm on a much bumpier section than I was on when I was trying the mic with the double foam on it and everything uh, in previous tests. Now let's see. I'm going to do the window open a bit. Let's see how that sounds. You know, I'm using the Bluetooth mic on my Blue Tiger headset, which has... Uh, Oh, something like 96% noise cancellation, so it works on phone calls, so it should hopefully work really well on this video. So, we're giving it a shot. This is the full test. We'll even try getting loud. Hello, hello, yell, 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 and see how it goes. All right, so there's my test. Well, as you can see, it cut out all the background noise. I was even able to open my window, and you couldn't even tell that the wind is rustling in and all that. Only downside is uh, in my voice is in a lot more tinny on uh, on the Bluetooth microphone. It's not as rounded, and I, I haven't found a way to equalize that. I use an equalizer or something on that yet. But at least uh, you can understand me. It's uh, it's a little tinny, but that seems to be the solution. A ten dollar solution. Just get an app off of the Apple Store and use that recorder when I put my phone up here on the dash, so I can get the. Uh, shot of me talking to you while I'm driving down the road and at least that way you should be able to understand me okay so back to the little uh, wireless mic I got I do like the little pouch it comes in a little round pouch I think it's still kind of cool $48 I got it, it was iDisk I-D-I-S-K-K iDisk -K. anyway yeah so again there's what it looks like in the package this little cable is to charge your microphone part because of course it's wireless so it needs to be charged separately um, and you can plug plug it in uh, right there it's where it plugs into the cable and then the other end is just a standard USB that plugs into your USB outlet okay so that charges up and of course like I showed you before this part goes in the bottom of your phone in the uh, lightning port so I will still use it for things like uh, I've got a little video here where I stopped at the quick trip in Clearwater Minnesota and I was showing how they're more than just a, a truck stop slash convenience store. They have a lot more grocery items. You can even get fresh meat in there. You can get steaks, which I have yet to try sometime and cook on my George Foreman. I never seem to have the time when I'm up there. They got frozen pizzas. They got these prepared meals and all that. So I had the, this mic on right here on my shirt as I'm holding the camera forward. And of course, as you're turning the phone around holding it forward, it's using the microphone on the front. So this is where it's going to come into use for me when I'm doing stuff where I'm aiming the camera forward. So I'll, get, I'll show you how well that worked when I went into the store. Not all quick trips have truck fuel islands and stuff like this one does, but this one is one that does. And I love these places. They are more like a little mini grocery store. They have so much more than an average convenience store would have. You look at all this fresh food available. If you're a dog nut fan, tons of those. Lots of dairy. They even usually have uh, fresh meat. Hey, you can get bacon. Excuse me. Uh huh. Let's see. They usually have a separate meat case. There's what I'm eyeing back there. Got some for, ooh, different kind of pizza. I've never heard of Don's Pizza. Hmm. Three for ten bucks. <laughs> Wish I had that much freezer space. You see a lot more grocery items than a <clears throat> typical convenience store or truck stop for sure. Real full boxes of cereal. Can't get those at truck stops. They have breads. Tortillas, a little bit of everything. See a whole bunch of different kinds of bread. And then check this out, even fresh hamburger meat, fresh ground beef. They have uh, pre-rolled 
like taco meat and so forth. And then let's find the meals on the other side that I'm looking for. Here's all the pre-done meals. You get a burrito, some burritos, penny pasta, meatloaf, if that's your thing. I gotta try to find the, oh, there's my favorite, spaghetti and meatballs, right there. Yeah, so that works pretty well, doesn't it? And uh, then you don't have to speak loud or anything. And then um, what I'll do is I'll also use it for when I'm doing repairs on the truck. I'm doing outside tour stuff on the truck, uh, rusty in the grass or something. I can wear that so I can narrate and stuff while the cameras face the other way. This would be a really good thing to have. These this little wireless mic thing, the setup. It's very small uh, for people who are doing lots of you know stuff with their friends and family, and uh, they're further away from the camera, so you want a microphone closer to them. So I'm still gonna get some use out of it. It's just, I'm not gonna be able to use it for the thing I initially bought it for. But you know, that's kind of the way life goes, baby. So when it, when it throws you lemons, you make the uh, proverbial uh, lemonade. So that's what we'll be trying to do. Well, yep, that microphone didn't do what I was hoping it would do, but yes, I will be able to put it to good use for other things especially getting outside of the truck and yada yada. Maybe I'll clip it onto Rusty sometime. <laughs> Since it is wireless, we'll see what he picks up, you know? But uh, anyway, found our solution. And uh, didn't end up buying a new uh, Elite, uh, Blue Tiger Elite uh, Ultra headset. That'll be the next video. We'll do an unboxing of that because my current one is just not holding a charge anymore. But we'll talk about that later. Rusty sees somebody out there. We're waiting here at this Mars Pet Care of all things, and they did let me take Rusty out and run around in the grass they have over here. With a name like Mars Pet Care, you think they would do that, and they did. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. As always, please comment uh, and like if you'd like to. Only if you'd like to. Get to your comments. Sometimes takes a day or two or three because I'm a working truck driver. Uh, don't forget about Clutch Trucker on Instagram, Clutch Trucker on Twitter, and as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. Doctor. Doctor, 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 and doctor. Oh, he's already in position. He's eyeing that strip. Come on, a little higher. Come on, Rusty. All right, got to get a run for it. Oh, come on, you almost had it. There you go. Rusty with his big and strip bounty. All right, got to give us the happy dog smile. Come on, Rusty. There you go.